Greetings Libra and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Hi, I hope you're doing well and let's jump right in and see what the angel oracles have for my Libras today. And I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And for those who have, thank you so much. I really, really value uh, your participation and helping the channel grow. And for my new viewers, thank you so much for participating here. And this is the theme of the reading. No, whatever you came to tonight to this reading, the answer is no. So take a moment to really go into that and reflect on the question or concern or curiosity you brought here because the answer is no. And you will have signs and reminders around you you might see a birds, butterflies, a shooting star, a rainbow. And uh, those are not just uh, popcorn and bubble gum. Those are true signs that are showing that you're on the way, you're on the path, a uh, Libra, to that balance, to that harmony within yourself. And you're saying no to anything that is not a uh, serving as a reminder to that inner connection uh, to God, to that source within. And that's where your true uh, comfort, your true balance, your true happiness arises from. And so let's jump right in. And thank you so much, Spirit Guides, for overseeing this reading for my Libras. And please bring concise, clear, and resonating information to this reading. And this is you, Libra taking a moment in meditation to bow before your inner intelligence, to go inward into your mind, to uh, meditate on a new idea, to think through something, to have curiosity about this question you've brought, to really get information, to explore, to read, to seek out, to communicate, to talk about, uh, this despair, this hitting rock bottom, this coming to the end of the road where you can't go any further. There's no way um, but up. You call out. It's in the most desperate moments, in the dark night of the soul, that we <clears throat> know what we're really made of, uh, Libra, that we know uh, what um, that spiritual backbone that you, we've uh, created. And here you see it's being pierced, um, but your head is on fire with um, new thoughts, a new curiosity about what has happened. That has um, your curiosity, your ideas about what it is about this question is uh, bringing despair, is bringing um, some challenge, a difficult challenge to thinking through something that at the foundation you've had to bring this sense of healing. You're looking out to uh, this very far off horizon that has a lot of deep emotions between here and there. And you're having to heal and blend and balance aspects of yourself, like in alchemy, uh, to put ourselves, our personalities, uh, through these tests, uh, through uh, polarizing and putrefying and <clears throat> calcinating and uh, liquidating these elements within ourselves to heal and blend and uh, create a whole new being. And that's what you're doing. You're going to become something totally different. And you have this resilience. You've been fighting the good fight for a while now from the past. And you stood up. Uh, you're the wounded warrior. You might not have been able to sleep much. You could be haggard, um, under duress, exhausted. But you carried on. You fought the fight, and it's not over yet, even though this was in the recent past. Uh, it's not finished yet. Don't put down your weapons yet, because you've got to keep going. And 
uh, the universe is here at the crown. That's the world. You're closing out an old cycle. And look how beautifully your chakras are aligned. And you are moving beyond this despair because you're calling out to the universe to complete the cycle, to bring you wholeness, to close this old karmic cycle out so you can renew and step through this um, Ouroboros as an alchemy is that a snake devouring its own tail representing completion within ourselves and you're coming to that in the universe and it will be celebrated at the crown this awakening to that and out of that uh, ending comes a whole new beginning the one where you are taking this life experience and really reveling in it because uh, there's vibrancy coming energy yes that's my sense is that uh, you're going to be vibrating at this very hummingbird a level of frequency of attunement and bringing that inner passion and desire is coming right now toward whatever this is that you've had to uh, face this despair and you're looking at the despair with open arms like okay uh, bring it on i'm ready i'm self-reliant i'm energetic i'm very attractive at this moment to the universe to close this out and you're know that change is coming Libra you have um, balanced these dark and light parts of yourself and the situation that you've been having to look at study understand bring your intelligence to and in the environment they have been using the strength at the crown at the turban on fire with this energy of blending your mind and your heart and your body and your instincts and coming to this wholeness of <clears throat> calibration knowing when to go out and when to come in and when to galvanize that strength through self-compassion self-love self-understanding and the hope and fear is the tower is coming something you see this lightning crashing down from the heavens and that could be this despair because something um, Libra has to come to an end you have to bow before this um, ultimate un understanding that you know from your intelligence is there and it's despair in the sense that it's hitting the end the ten is completion and it's coming to an end whatever this agony of your mind this worry this depression this anxiety this feeling betrayed oh why me why did this happen to us oh what did we do wrong uh, blaming someone or feeling that you did uh, you should be ashamed or guilty or whatever that is um, you're healing that you're transforming that through your power of resilience and just fighting the good fight and you're closing this out to open to a whole new energy Libra that is change and you're going to take strength in your environment and courage to face this tower this sudden transformation this illumination but it can hit you a blind side whatever the structure you've lived in your relationship your job your health your life is coming down a crashing down a catastrophe but that will uh, bring a whole new uh, life out of that and it will bring um, a sense of isolation is coming this feeling that whatever this tower is this a uh, crisis that was your hope and fear has brought isolation or a feeling that uh, you're being um, interfered with or that you've been hoiled back or put in prison or exiled and that is what is we are that's where we are because you're closing out a, a karmic cycle but you're closing it out successfully because you've got um, these signs and reminders that keep you going and you're saying no to whatever this is uh, and only you each of you uh, Libra knows what this a challenge is what this despair is all about 
what this isolation. And if you're isolated and you're having to say no to this situation, um, trust that you can get out of this prison. This is a prison of your own mind that has come because of this despair. And this tower is uh, crashing it everything down so you can see it for what it is to bring truth and revelation. And <clears throat> this is powerful. And let's take a moment to breathe in and to be present to each of these cards and to be present to yourself, Libra, and to really receive the message. And your curiosity is here because it's a learning experience. Yes, well, the <clears throat> prince's, the page of swords is wanting to learn, needs to get the information, is curious. And you're expecting miracles from this despair, from this defeat, from this hitting of rock bottom. And you're healing and alchemizing as you earth and ground at the foundation around this question of this learning experience. And you're doing the work. Well, yes, the um, nine of wands, that a wounded warrior that keeps battling step by step, doesn't give up. You did the work. And you're asking and receiving this universe, this closure, this karmic completion. And that's what you're asking and receiving. And the vibrancy is coming because you're listening deeply to one another. There's somebody very important who is trusting, has their hand over their heart um, with their uh, belief, their vow to trust and to listen deeply to each other as you change and mother, father, God is coming. The change is bringing a change with mother and father and God and with this whole uh, universe of creation and support and foundation and structure and surrender at some point the way that we can be the strongest is to let go and surrender and to allow God and our heart to know what is next in our environment. And the tower is coming because there is a guardian angel watching over this collapse, this uh, catastrophe. Whatever is crashing down, trust my Libra that the guardian angel is there. And your isolation um, or needing to feel uh, like the advice is, well, you're going to have to be isolated in this situation. Uh, you might feel that you're um, being held back, uh, interfered with, that you are isolated, imprisoned almost in your own self-sabotaging worry. And you have a sacred plan, though. And once you have a sacred plan that brings you um, out of isolation, into community, and into wholeness with our source that has our life a totally in the plans, in the works, perfectly designed for each one of us. And that's what I have for you. And I'll give you one card as a gift because this is an intense reading that you have to really listen deeply to. But expect a miracle in this because you've asked and you're going to receive this and the uh, uh well focus on your health yes it's time to focus on your health maybe you've been focusing on someone else's health or well-being and now wellness active radiant nourishment is part of your sacred plan and that's what i have for you my dear libra and again, please subscribe if you like the way I read and welcome all my new viewers. And you know I love you all, Libra. And we're in this interconnected field of going through these amazing changes, of closing out old karmic cycles successfully uh, to move forward and to know as we ask and receive, we will receive the sacred plan that moves us forward. And so it is. Bye-bye.